The problems for my videos can be downloaded from my website, tonybell.com. Go to the website, click the PDF link. You'll see there's no sign in, no sign up, nothing like that. Just a hundred plus pages of accounting exercises. Many of the exercises are free and open, about 40%. And if you're working through those and finding you're getting great value out of them, you might consider joining and getting a channel membership that has access to the other 60% of the videos. All right, let's jump into today's exercise. Let's jump into problem 96A, a flexible budgeting sample problem. Refine Touch is a dating service. Rather than using algorithms, the company uses a traditional matchmaker. The company had the following cost variance report for April, and you can see they were planning to have 120 matches. They actually had 150, so they're busier than expected. And uh, yeah, they kept costs down largely. You can see a 200 favorable variance. They budgeted to spend 9,500. They only spent 9,300. Linda Frost, the manager and matchmaker, comments in the report. What a great month. We were busier than we expected and still managed to keep costs down. I just wish every month could be this good comment on the flaw of the report well the flaw of the report from a flexible budgeting perspective is that we're not comparing apples to apples we're looking at a static budget based on 120 matches when we actually had 150 you would naturally think a lot of those variable costs would go up so why don't we recast this report why don't we when we're looking backwards after the fact again the budget's a great tool for planning but when you're looking back after to the fact why don't you adjust the budget based on what actually happened so a flexible budget says let's redo the budget but pretend that before the month started we knew we were going to have to have 150 matches so let's do a flex budget here at 150 matches and see what that looks like so if we were asked to prepare a report and we are it says prepare a revised report we're going to like redo this report so it's name of the company refine touch so what's the flaw in the report well the number of matches is very different and we haven't adjusted the budget accordingly um refine touch we're doing a flex flexible budget cost variance so let me spell variance the right way variance report and this is for the month ended april 30th for the month ended april 30th okay uh so let's compare uh budget to actual but this time let's do a flexible budget and that's based on having 150 matches not based on 120 so our flexible budget is uh based on 150 as our number of matches and now we just redo the budget we ignore all this actual stuff we pretend we don't know now i need those numbers for later we ignore the old variances we ignore everything else and we just go okay let's redo our budget at the level of 150 matches what would we have said about our matching our customer screening and so on so let's work our way down our variable costs and redo them so we got matching And let's just do some math here. We think our matching should cost $3,000 based on 120 matches. Well, if I have more matches, it's going to cost more money. 3,000 divided by 120 means it's $25 per match, right? Cost per match, 25 per match. Uh, and so uh, at 150 times 25, it's more money. It's 37.50 is what we expect to spend on matching. What about customer screening? Cust screening. Uh, 2,400, so that's $20 per match. And uh, at 150, that's $3,000 that we would expect to spend on customer screening. What about payment processing? Well, that's $10 per match. So at 150 matches, that's going to be $1,500 payment processing. 
Now our fixed costs, because they're fixed, so we got to total this up actually, uh, 3750 plus 3000 plus 1500 is 8250 that's our total variable <laughs> costs uh, our fixed costs our office and rent office expense rent expense and on our flexible budget because they're fixed we just go okay like you know, for instance, making two more matches doesn't change your rent cost. It does change your payment processor cost, right? So that's why this one's variable, that one's fixed. So our rent is 900, doesn't matter how many matches I make. And our office cost, we would guess is 2000, doesn't matter how many matches we make. So in total, 2900 is our total fixed cost. And therefore our grand total, our total costs, our 82.50 plus 2900, 11.150. Okay, so we've done our flexible budget. Now let's compare this to actual. So we go back and we just do actual, and actual is 150, and there's no variance there. And that's the idea. You, you don't want a variance between the flexible budget and what actually happened in terms of the driver, right? And here it's the number of matches is what drives these costs. So uh, the actual matching cost, 3,600. The actual customer screening, 1,500. The actual payment processing, 1,450. So totaling up, uh, I guess we have the total. I was going to do it in my calculator, but 6550. Uh, actual office expenses were 1800. Actual rent 950 for 2750 there. And the grand total of our costs, uh, 9300. Dollar sign at the top and bottom. Okay, so now we want to compare our flex budget and our actual. So let's just compare the two numbers. Based on flexible budget, we would expect matching costs to be 3750. They were actually 3600. It's $150 variance and it's favorable. Our actual costs were lower than what you would expect. Customer screening, 1500, very favorable there. Payment processing, 50 to the good. Yeah, this is all good news for our friend uh, uh, Linda. 1700 favorable office expenses 200 favorable they were lower than expected rent expense 50 unfavorable higher than expected so overall here it's 150 to the good 150 favorable and as a grand total it's 1850 favorable so there we have a revised flexible budget uh comment on fast assertion that it was a great month well if she's basing her great month based on this it was better she did fantastic in terms of keeping her costs under control, right? Uh, so if she liked this report, she's going to love this one. Normally when somebody in these accounting questions says, oh, it was a great month, we, the accountant, get to bring them bad news. But here I have good news for Frost. Yeah, this uh, is a great month. Uh, they did a great job keeping costs under control. Now, there's a bit of a dark cloud in this silver lining. What variances ought to be investigated further there's one that is just like red flag jumping out at me should be jumping out at you too. Generally speaking, you're looking for the biggest numbers. Generally speaking, you'd be looking for the biggest unfavorable variance, but there weren't any significant unfavorable variances. Let's look for our biggest variances though in general. And this one is actually mildly alarming. The fact that, you know, this is a matchmaking service. We expect to spend $3,000 in screening. We only spent $1,500 on screening. Were we doing a good enough job screening clients? This is important, right? Customer safety is really critical in a high touch matchmaking service. You know, you're hooking people up with romantic partners. And if you're not doing a good job screening, it could spell problems like real world problems for the people involved, certainly real world problems for your business. Uh, this one, 
even though it's very favorable, I don't perceive it as good news. Now, maybe they've got a better system in place and they actually know we can do the screening better and cheaper. I mean, that's possible, but alarm bells in my mind that we're skimping on customer screening, which to me would be a very important part of a matchmaking business. That's the variance I would investigate further. One more thing I want you to investigate further, investigate your like button. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. See ya. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.